Please adhere to YouTube's selected guidelines before viewing content of this video. I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behaviors shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. Alrighty, so yesterday I spent $130 at JR's Discount Tobacco Outlet in North Carolina, and today I'm going to be going over my entire haul, which I am very excited to do, I will admit. Up until yesterday, I had never been to a JR's before, and I had never been to any discount tobacco outlet in general. So as I was going there, I was wondering how much their tobacco products were really going to be. And when I got there and I started looking at prices, I was a little bit surprised, let me tell y'all what, in a good way, in a good way, because their prices were a lot lower than I expected them to be. And so as such, I ended up spending and buying a little bit more than I expected. In total, I ended up buying $127.70 worth of tobacco goodies without tax. With tax, I spent $136.32 on all of the tobacco goodies that I bought yesterday. I bought in total five pipe tobaccos, one cigar, one thing in nasal snuff, one lighter, and two cigar boxes. Yeah, all of that for $127. And what was that, 70 cents? Not too bad if I do say so myself. And I certainly am looking forward to going over each and every single thing that I bought yesterday with y'all in today's video. But before I go ahead and do that, I should probably explain what JR's actually is. So what is JR's Discount Tobacco Warehouse? Well, uh, warehouse, outlet, whatever you want to call it kind of thing. It's, it's, uh, it's very much a warehouse outlet. It's, it's very much, uh, it could be considered either, either or of those in all honesty. But what is JR's Discount Tobacco Outlet? Well, it's exactly what it sounds like. It is a discount tobacco outlet that is named JR's. And they have a fantastic selection of cigars, of cigarettes, and of pipe tobacco. I ain't gonna lie, not as good of a selection of pipe tobacco as of the cigars and cigarettes as they had some cigars and cigarettes I had never seen for sale before. But either way, the price is made up for the lack of selection. I ain't gonna lie, also certainly no complaints on my behalf. And while I do say lack of selection, they still had a much better selection than not. It just wasn't as good as their selection of cigarettes and cigars. But, you know, that's pretty much what JR's is. Uh, they have three locations in total, two locations in North Carolina and one location in Florida. I went to the location in Selma, North Carolina, as that's the one closest to me, but they also have a location in Burlington, North Carolina. And then the location in Florida is in Tampa, uh, Florida. Uh, and uh, I've heard good things about all of them kind of thing. All of them get good reviews on Google, at least. Let me just put it that way. But I've only ever been to the one in Selma, and I've only been to the one in Selma once. But uh, yeah, that's what JR's is. It's uh, basically heaven for a person like me. I ain't gonna lie out cheap tobacco products. Well, certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. But I do suppose without further ado, now that I'm done talking about what JR's is, I should probably hop into my $130 tobacco goodie haul. Starting off with the pipe tobacco, I think. And I think I'm going to start off with the pipe tobacco that I'm probably most excited to try. And that would be the Capstan Navy Flake pipe tobacco. This was J.R. Tolkien's favorite pipe tobacco, supposedly at least. I have heard some fantastic things about it, and I expect to enjoy it a lot, as this is a pure Virginia blend pipe tobacco. At a local brick and mortar near me, generally speaking, this tin would have cost me I want to say $35. At JR's, on the other hand, though, it cost me $18. $35 was a little bit too much for me to spend on this pipe tobacco, I will admit. But for $18, I couldn't say no. Let me just tell y'all what. And I feel like I got a fantastic deal. When looking at the price of Capstan Navy Cut online, um, I saw that the price was about a dollar or two lower than what I paid at JR's. But if I had paid for shipping, then this would have still come out to be more expensive. So I really do feel like I got a great deal. Let me just tell y'all what. I paid specifically, I wanna say $18.03 for this. Yeah, not bad if I do say so myself, and I certainly am looking forward to trying J.R. Tolkien's, uh, excuse me, favorite pipe tobacco in the future, I ain't gonna lie y'all. 
Next up, we have a pipe tobacco that I was not planning to buy when I got to JR's. The Capstan Navy Cut, I was looking for that when I was going to JR's kind of thing. I wanted to buy that. I wanted to see if I could get it for cheaper kind of thing. The next pipe tobacco was a pipe tobacco I wasn't planning on buying, but it's a pipe tobacco that once I saw the price of, I was like, you know what? I need to pick this up because I've heard a lot of good things about it and I think I'm probably gonna enjoy it kind of thing. So let me just go ahead and pick this up and I'll just try it sometime in the future. That pipe tobacco is the Bell's Three Nuns made by Mac Baron. This is a Virginia Burley blend pipe tobacco, and I've heard some fantastic things about this pipe tobacco online, and it also has a pretty funny name, and so as such, I am looking forward to trying this pipe tobacco sometime in the future, that is for sure. I paid, once again, $18.03 for this pipe tobacco right here. I don't remember how much Three Nuns costs at local brick and mortars near me, but I would imagine it's significantly more than what I paid at JR's, let me just put it that way probably in the realm of $30, $35 if I had to guess. But yeah, definitely looking forward to trying this in the future. And uh, Three Nuns is uh, certainly a pretty funny name, that is for sure. Moving on from that pipe tobacco, let's go ahead and cover one that uh, I once again was not planning on buying when I went to JR's. I ended up picking myself up a tin of the Balkan Sasene English Blend Pipe Tobacco. This pipe tobacco is made with a choice mix of Macedonia and Latkia uh, leaf with the richness of old Virginia tobaccos, according to the back of it at least. This is a match tobacco, a copycat of the old Balkan Sobrain uh, pipe tobacco. And I've actually got a tin of vintage Balkan Sobrain sitting unopened for me at home. I'm looking forward to trying that sometime in the future. And after I try that one, I'm looking forward to trying this one right here, that is for sure. I've heard some pretty good things about this match pipe tobacco. I've heard it's a little bit different than the Balkan Sobrain uh, pipe tobacco, but I've heard it's still very, very, very good nonetheless. And I am looking forward to trying it. I wanna say I paid, let me just look at my receipt real quick. I paid, let's see, for the Balkan Saseni, I, I, I paid $13.70. Not a bad price if I do say so myself. I do remember looking at the Balkan Saseni at a local brick and mortar near me, and I wanna say it was about $20, $21 or something like that kind of thing. So I definitely did get a much better deal than not. Smelling this pipe tobacco through the tin though, it literally smells like burning rubber, I ain't gonna lie y'all. It literally smells like burning rubber, which makes me a little bit nervous to try this, but I am just so excited to try it nonetheless. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how it lines up against the OG Balkan Sobrain uh, pipe tobacco. And I'm looking forward to trying this after I try the OG Balkan Sobrain. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Moving on to the, was that all of the tins of pipe tobacco I bought? That was, well, I've got one more tin. I've got one more tin of pipe tobacco that I bought, but I'm gonna save that one for last. That's three of the pipe tobaccos I bought. I've got two left. Let's go ahead and cover the cheapest pipe tobacco I bought. I've actually been looking for this for a minute and I haven't been able to find it anywhere. I've been looking for it at Walmart. I've been looking at it. Uh, I've been looking for it at just uh, normal tobacco shops. None of the brick and mortar pipe shops in my area carry it for whatever reason. I ain't gonna lie y'all, but, I was able to find at JR's yesterday some half and half uh, pipe tobacco. I want to say I spent $4.70 on it. How much did I pay? I paid, okay, $4.65. I was pretty close. I was pretty close. I'll take it. You know what I'm saying? I'll take it. You know, I paid $4.63 for this pipe tobacco right here. Not bad if I do say so myself. For this pouch, if I had to guess, uh, if I had to guess how much I would have spent at a local brick and mortar store or just a local tobacco shop in general, I would have ended up probably spending around about seven to ten dollars if I had to guess. I've never seen this for sale anywhere else but JR's. It's a lot harder to find in my area than not, but I've heard really good things about this, even though this is one of the old sort of like drugstore cheap brands of pipe tobacco. I've heard really good things about it nonetheless, and so as such, I am quite excited to see just how good or just how bad half and half pipe tobacco is is sometime in the future, especially since it was pretty cheap. This is actually the cheapest pipe tobacco I've ever bought, but actually not at the same time. This is the cheapest pipe tobacco I've ever purchased in one bag, but if you consider it by weight, it's actually not, because there is 1.5 ounces 
of pipe tobacco inside that bag right there. And if we uh, if, if we take a look at the uh, next pipe tobacco I bought, uh, well, it was uh, certainly a lot cheaper just because I had to buy it in bulk because they didn't offer smaller pouches. Um, I ended up buying at JR's my Unobtainium. I have been looking for this for the last couple months now. It's not available anywhere in my local area for some reason, but thankfully, JR's had it. I bought myself a 14 ounce tin of <laughs> Prince Albert Original Pipe Tobacco tobacco. Prince Albert is another one of those cheap drugstore brands, but it's a drugstore brand that I've really heard a lot of good things about. Prince Albert Pipe Tobacco has been on the market for, I want to say, over a hundred years now. It's got a legendary name, and I certainly am looking forward to letting Prince Albert out of the tin sometime in the future. I ain't gonna lie, y'all, but for the moment, at least, he's starving to death in this tin. Prince Albert, can you hear me? You're not getting out of there anytime soon. It's gonna be like a month or two, my man, kind of thing. It's gonna be like a month or two. But, you know, this stuff cost me, I want to say, $35 for 14 ounces. I'm trying to do the math in my head, but $35 for 14 ounces and I got I got 1.5 ounces for five dollars one so five dollars so that's 35 divided by five is seven so seven so I would have gotten actually no this was about the same because 1.5 times seven is 1.5 times seven it's two so 0.5 times seven is 25 so that's 2.5 plus seven so that's that would have been trying to do the math in my head that would have been so that would have been seven eight nine and a half ounces so yeah no this was actually still significantly cheaper than this even if i had bought this in um even even with the uh, low price of this kind of thing uh this is still significantly cheaper just due to the fact that i bought it in bulk sadly it was not offered in pouches i did want to buy a pouch or a smaller tin of prince albert i will admit but it's not offered in smaller tins anymore from what i can tell at least so i had to buy the uh, big ass bulk jar of it but uh nonetheless i feel like i got a pretty good deal this was the most expensive thing that i bought at JR's, the most expensive one item that I bought at JR's, but I mean like for 14 ounces, for $35 kind of thing, you really cannot beat it. Let me tell y'all what, that's a good ass deal if I do say so myself. And I was actually looking online at how much Prince Albert uh, tobacco costs. And on a lot of the sites I looked at, uh, Prince Albert at JR's is actually significantly cheaper than Prince Albert online, I will admit. Online Prince Albert in a 14 ounce uh, jar generally goes for, I wanna say like $43. I saw it on sale for $38, but I got this for $35. This is uh, very, 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 this was very, very, very cheap at JR's, so certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. And just to confirm, I actually spent uh, $35. I, I actually spent under $35, I actually spent $34.70 cents. Not too bad if I do say so myself. I ain't gonna lie on. Not too bad if I do say so myself. That's all of the pipe tobacco I bought though. Uh, totaling up to be, uh, what was that? So that's 18 plus 18 plus 13 plus 5 plus uh, plus 35. So that's 40. 18 plus 18 is gonna be 40. 18 plus 18, that's 20. 20 28. 36, so that'd be 36 plus 13 would be 50. So I ended up spending uh, just about, I want to say like $80 on pipe tobacco in, in total, like $80, $90 on to pipe tobacco in general. That was definitely the main part of my purchase, that is for sure. Not too bad if I do say to myself. I'm struggling to do math in my head at the moment, though, I will admit. I'm going to go and take a little bit of a sip of water, and then after that, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the one cigar that I bought, which I am very excited to do because it's a cigar that I've been wanting to try for quite a while. Or maybe not. It's a cigar that I've been wanting to try. Not that specific cigar, but the brand is a brand that I've been wanting to try for a while, but I just couldn't warrant the price because the brand of cigar I bought was Davidoff. That's right. I bought myself a Davidoff cigar at JR's yesterday. This cigar cost me, I want to say $17, $17.80, which is the most money I've ever spent on one cigar before. A little bit crazy if I do say so myself. This Davidoff cigar in specific is the Davidoff Signature 2000. It's got an Ecuadorian Connecticut wrapper and then uh, Dominican Republic filler and I want to say something else as well, kind of thing. Uh, it's got a Dominican Republic binder, filler, but an Ecuadorian uh, Connecticut wrapper. And I'm very, very, very excited to try this cigar right here. I didn't do any research on this specific Davidoff cigar. Um, 
before I purchased it, I will admit, as JR's was about to close, I spent a lot of time in there, I lie, but they were about to close, so I was just trying to rush to grab a David off. I knew I wanted to buy one, um, so I just rushed. I just grabbed one that was just moderately priced kind of thing, but not super small, and uh, this is the one I ended up uh, getting. I did some research on this cigar last night after purchasing it, and it seems like it's one of those cigars that is either you love it or you hate it kind of thing. It is apparently a more mild cigar, but I've never tried a cigar with a Connecticut wrapper before, so I'm looking forward to seeing uh, just how good or just how bad this Davidoff cigar is, and I'm looking forward to smoking a Davidoff cigar for the first time in a future video. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I've been wanting to pick up a Davidoff for a while, but I just could not warrant the price at literally anywhere near me, because Davidoffs, if they are sold near me, which they are not commonly sold near me, are um, quite expensive, if I do say so myself. If I had bought this at a uh, local uh, cigar shop or something like that. It would have probably been uh, $25 if I had to guess kind of thing. So I got I got a pretty good deal on it. I got a pretty good deal. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. They did still have some very expensive Davidoffs. Uh, of course, they had a they had one Davidoff that was like some limited edition, like Churchill, really long Davidoff that was like $120. I'm sure $120 at JR's is nothing compared to what you'd spend on that stick at a normal cigar shop kind of thing, but $120, and it was like $1,200 for the entire box. It was crazy, I ain't gonna lie, just so expensive. I did not buy that cigar, that is for sure. It was way too much, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. But that is the one cigar that I bought. Excuse me, I'm gonna go ahead and take my JR's bag, and I'm gonna go ahead and put it under my tin of Prince Albert. It's very, my, my tin of Prince Albert is uh, pretty heavy right now as Prince Albert is still in the tin. I'm not letting him out anytime soon or anything like that. So hopefully my bag will not fly away. But now it's time for me to go ahead and show you guys the nasal snuff that I purchased yesterday. And this is another thing that I was not expecting or looking to buy when I went to JR's. But I was just looking at their selection and I saw right next to dip and chew and everything like that, some tins that looked like nasal snuff tins and i was like is that nasal snuff down there and they're like oh yeah that's nasal snuff and i was like "Ooh, how much are the tins and they grabbed the biggest one and the biggest one was like 30 dollars kind of thing it was a massive tin though and i was like okay i'm, I'm not getting a i'm not i'm not getting a massive tin kind of thing i don't use nasal snuff that much how much is the smallest tin y'all have and this was one of the smallest tins they had and this one cost me i want to say six or seven dollars it was 650 actually so i was right in the middle right there it cost me 650 not a bad price if i do say so myself i'm sure this would have been a little bit more expensive at just a normal tobacco shop near me or something like that kind of thing but i've actually never seen nasal snuff for sale at any stores in my local area the only time i've ever seen nasal snuff uh for sale was uh, overseas i ain't gonna lie on i've actually asked some of the shops in my area like hey do you guys carry nasal snuff kind of thing and they're like no we used to carry it but we don't carry it anymore kind of thing it just wasn't a hot seller but jr's they still carry you know what i'm saying they still carry it and the nasal snuff i bought in specific is some honeybee dry snuff that is apparently sweet as honey i got one 1.15 ounces for that six dollars and fifty cents so certainly no complaints on my behalf it's made by swisher international i don't know if swisher international is connected to the cigarella brand swisher sweets but i imagine uh, it probably is so based on that i figure this is probably a pretty cheap base level budget uh, nasal snuff if i had to guess i don't know anything about this nasal snuff i will admit i tried doing some research on it and i really couldn't find much information on it um uh, while I was doing some research, but I am looking forward to trying it nonetheless, that is for sure. And uh, I've only ever tried German nasal snuff so far, German brand nasal snuff so far. And uh, from what I can tell, this is an American brand nasal snuff. So I'm looking forward to trying American nasal snuff sometime in the future, that is for sure. Especially since I really didn't pay all that much for it kind of thing. But that is all of the actual tobacco products that I bought at JR's yesterday. That is a lot of stuff, I ain't gonna lie. Although actually not at, a sa at the same time kind of thing. I would have spent a little bit less if I hadn't bought like the the, the, the tin of uh, Prince Albert or the Davidoff cigar or something like that kind of thing. But those are both things I've been wanting to buy for a while, so I had to buy them, you know what I'm saying? Next up, we have the lighter that I purchased. And I actually purchased this lighter not for myself, but for my dad. My dad is a huge fan of jet lighters, even though he doesn't smoke, which is pretty amusing if I do say so myself, but he loves jet lighters. And so I decided to buy him one. I bought this lighter right here for him for uh, $9.99. Let me go ahead and get it out of the bag that they put it in so it wouldn't get damaged. And let me just go ahead and show you guys the lighter real quick. This is a uh, Casa Monte Cristo. Oh, oh, I didn't I didn't realize this is Monte Cristo branded. Oh, wow, this is actually a Monte Cristo lighter. I didn't, I didn't realize this is Monte Cristo branded. That's pretty cool if I do say so myself. Monte Cristo is a... Um, 
pretty big cigar manufacturer. I didn't realize this was a Monte Cristo branded lighter. That's pretty funny if I do say so myself. Well, I imagine it would have probably been a little bit more uh, expensive if it hadn't been purchased at JR's, but certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. This lighter has three torches. Let me go ahead and just turn it on real quick. I don't know how well y'all can see the flame, but man, it just goes. And honestly, I should have bought one of these for myself for whenever I'm smoking uh, cigars because this is a really, really, really high, high quality cigar lighter, and it's probably the highest quality cigar lighter I've ever used. I ain't gonna lie, really nice if I do say so myself. And uh, my dad really liked it. So certainly no complaints on my behalf, that is for sure. Glad it was a, uh, a good gift for him. I'm just gonna go ahead and get this all bundled up once again and go ahead and just zip that all up and everything like that kind of thing. I'm gonna go and put that down on the ground. And now it's time for me to go ahead and show you guys the two cigar boxes that I purchased yesterday as well. Um, I bought these cigar boxes for my dad uh, once again. He wanted some cigar boxes, so I went ahead and picked him up some. And uh, the two cigar boxes that uh, he ended up grabbing were uh, this cigar box right here. This is a uh, cabinet something. It's a, it's a cabinet 25 tattoo. I, I don't know. I don't know what in all honesty. This, this was my dad's choice. I have no clue what this was. He doesn't smoke cigars or anything like that. He just cho chose these based on practicality and aesthetics because he wants to store some stuff in them. But, uh, yeah, no, I mean, like, pr pretty nice if I do say so myself. This cigar would have cost a $9.50 single, single or uh, $2.37 for the entire box. Or their, pr or that's the MSRP. That's the MSRP. Their price would have been uh, $213.75. That's, uh, that's like uh, $20 less than the MSRP. That's not too bad if I do say so myself. Well, certainly no complaints on my behalf. I don't know anything about this cigar. I've never heard of it before, I will admit. Uh, made in uh, Nicaragua. Uh, exclusively for Tanjua cigars. Don't know how to pronounce that. Made in Esteli, Nicaragua. Uh, interesting, interesting. I don't know anything about this cigar. I, will, I don't know if it's good. I don't know if it's bad. I have no clue what that cigar is all about. Uh, the next cigar box that my dad picked out, though, uh, is a cigar I know a little bit more about because it's a Drew Estate cigar. This is a uh, box of, uh, this is a box from the uh, Drew Estate uh, Liga. These nuts. Ha, got them. Liga Pravada number nine. Uh, which is a 152 millimeter by 52 Toro Escuro. I've never tried this cigar before. I don't know anything about this specific cigar, but I've tried a lot of cigars from Drew Estates before. And so I assume it's probably a better cigar than not, if I had to guess. This box opens up a little bit difficultly, I will admit, but I'm gonna try to get it all opened up nonetheless without pinching my skin or anything like that. There we go. Got it all open. Looks pretty nice on the inside, if I do say so myself. Certainly no complaints on my behalf. And we can see a single of these would have been $15.50. The entire box MSRP was $372, but their price was $334. Not too bad if I do say so myself. And smelling the inside of the box, you can still smell the cigar. Wow, that smells really good. I can That smells really good. That is for sure. We can see a little bit of a, like some something to make it look fancy right there kind of thing. But that is my entire $130 haul from uh, JR's Discount Tobacco Outlet. That was my entire haul. I feel like I got a uh, pretty good deal on pretty much everything I bought. Now, I almost forgot to mention, both cigar boxes were $2 a piece. Not a bad price if I do say so myself, because a, a lot of the tobacco shops in my area, they like to charge like four or five dollars for, for cigar boxes. I'm like, four or five dollars for a cigar box? Really, bro? It's something you just throw away if you weren't just trying to sell it kind of thing. Four or five dollars, is a little bit ridiculous, but JR's, they are two dollars kind of thing. It's a pretty good deal if I do say so myself. Both of those and the lighter are for my dad, as said, not for me, but I picked them up for him anyway. But I feel like I got a uh, pretty good deal, I ain't gonna lie. I feel like I got a pretty good deal on everything I bought, and I am just so excited to try uh, everything I bought sometime in the future over the next couple months or so. Definitely not gonna be immediately trying everything I bought. Uh, I'm gonna let it, uh, I'm gonna let it uh, age just a little bit more kind of thing, but I am very, very, very excited to try uh, quite literally everything I bought. I'd have to say the three items I am most excited to try are probably the uh, Davidoff cigar that I purchased. I'd have to say the second item I am most excited to try is probably the Capstan Navy Flake, which as said at the uh, towards the beginning of this video was J.R. Tolkien's uh, favorite pipe tobacco, supposedly when he was alive. So I'm looking forward to trying this one as well. And then I'd have to say probably the thing I'm uh, 
looking forward to trying the third most is probably the uh, Prince Albert. Probably the Prince Albert. This has kind of been my unobtainium. I haven't been able to find it for uh, quite a while. And so as such, I am looking forward to seeing just how good or just how bad it actually is. Uh, but, but in general, I'm looking forward to simply trying everything that I bought at JR's yesterday. That is for sure. Man, oh man, certainly no complaints on my behalf. I definitely spent uh, a bit more and I bought a bit more than I was intending to buy when I drove down to Selma to JR's, but uh, I certainly do have no complaints on my behalf. That is for sure. I certainly do have no complaints on my behalf. Uh, I'm, I'm uh, going to say something else. I'm very glad I was able to get everything at uh, such a good price, I ain't going to lie on. My experience at JR's was fantastic kind of thing. Um, I ain't gonna lie, my, my experience was fantastic. Uh, the, um, the, everybody there was very helpful kind of thing, very kind. I had a great experience at JR's and uh, it really was like a heaven for somebody like me kind of thing. It really was. You walk in and you're, you just, you just uh, are greeted with the smell of cigars because they got a cigar lounge in there and everything like that kind of thing. And then you just start looking around and you're like, oh my God, they have everything. <laughs> everything. They have everything. Except for pipe tobacco. They don't have the greatest selection of pipe tobacco, but still a much better selection than not. But let me tell you all what, they really do have something for everybody. And I was able to find everything that I wanted, plus more. There was more I wanted that I didn't end up buying because I was unwilling to spend any more money. But I will most certainly be going back to JR's in the future, not only because of their prices, but also just because I had a fantastic experience as a whole. I ain't gonna lie, y'all. Piano. I think that's pretty much all I had to say in today's video. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching my video where I went over my $130 tobacco goodie haul from JR's Discount Tobacco Outlet. I certainly hope you guys have enjoyed watching this video. If you guys have enjoyed watching this video, of course, uh, please make sure to uh, like and subscribe for more content. I have my Instagram, my book, my merch, my PO box, and my uh, second channel all in the description down below. Go check it all out. Uh, and of course, if you guys have ever been to JR's before or any other Discount Tobacco Outlet, outlet before. Let me know how y'all's experience was in the uh, comments down below and let me know if you guys think I got a good deal on what I bought or not. I think that's pretty much everything I wanted to say though. As said, like, subscribe. Till the next one, y'all. Stay safe and peace. Have a great one. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying.